Well, the time is drawing nigh. We are almost out of dates for 2021. Time to start thinking about 2022. Time to start planning for 2022. Time to make our cruise resolutions. Have you done that yet? You don't have cruise resolutions? Well, I do. I'll share my list with you. Cruise resolutions. Let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, uh, here with probably some of the most important planning work of the year. Looking forward into 2022, I would like to share with you my cruise resolutions. And look, I'm in the travel business. Uh, part of what I have to do is go cruising. And so while my cruise resolution list may be broad and extensive, uh, I, I believe anybody could use it uh, as a spot to uh, to get some inspiration for their own cruise resolutions. Uh, and with that caveat out of the way, let's go right into the list. Number one, the cruise resolution. I resolve to cruise to Europe. How about that? Be it be it a cruise around the UK or be it a cruise in the Mediterranean. Spoiler alert, I've already booked a cruise in the Mediterranean for July of 2022. So I'm, I'm feeling confident that this cruise resolution will be checked off. A wonderful cruise where I have to fly into Rome and spend a day or two in Rome before I cruise around several sites in Greece. And before we get to cruise resolution number two, let's stop here for a word from today's sponsor, Babbel, uh, because Babbel is all about knowing the language when you go somewhere new, like, uh, you know, if you're going to Rome, like, like me. Uh, let's talk about Babbel. Babbel is the app that is built on award-winning technology that can have you speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. How do they do it? Well, they've taken technology people, they've taken language people, and they've built an app that satisfies a diverse community of learners. From lessons that you can just watch, lessons you can just listen to, lessons you can participate in, uh, Babbel will have you speaking that new language in three weeks. I'm over here in the Italian newcomer section, but I'm gonna drop down this courses and go to uh, countries and traditions and right here, uh, the very top thing, Italian for your vacation. Uh, let's just do the first one. I, and I've done this a couple times to practice. Let's see if I can pull it off again. Uh, this one is going to be an audio and a visual. It's going to show me the words. It's going to say it and then ask me to repeat it. Uh, this is the phrase for I, I've reserved a double room. Okay, here we go. Ho prenotato una camera doppia. All right, now it's my chance to say it. Ho prenotato un camera doppia. How about that? I got it right. I can't think of a better New Year's resolution than learning a new language. And uh, this year that hits especially close to home for me. Uh, Babbel does have a 20 day money back guarantee. So if you're not digging Babbel, you can get your money back. There is a special offer for the Loca fam, a special offer for the travel faithful out there. Uh, use the link in the description of this video and save 65% off of Babbel. Babel, thank you for sponsoring today's show. Back to the cruise resolutions. Cruise resolution number two, and I'll say this one's a little aggressive. I would like to try out at least three new cruise lines. Uh, if you know a little bit of our story, we started cruising after our kids left the house. We're empty nesters. Started cruising in 2017, and during that time, 21 cruises and six different cruise lines, but there's still more cruise lines to try. Some of the big trophies not yet on my wall would be Disney, Virgin Voyage, Voyage, Holland America, Cunard, p and there's, there's an extensive list, but those are some of the highlights. Uh, I'll challenge you right now. Which cruise line would you like to see us go on the most? Leave a comment below. But yes, cruise resolution number two, uh, three of them. See if we can knock three of them off the list in 2022. Cruise resolution number three, I would like to go on an inaugural cruise. Those come in different shapes and sizes, and uh, I think it would be cool to see the pomp and circumstance that goes along with an inaugural cruise. And, and another spoiler alert, uh, I've already got something in mind, and it ties into cruise resolution number four. I would like to go on another Oasis-class ship. My favorite cruise ship is the Oasis of the Seas. Uh, I really like the offering there, but there's other options in that uh, ship class that I have not tried yet. Uh, Symphony of the Seas 
Seas, currently the world's largest cruise ship, Harmony, Allure. I've not been on any of those, but coming out in 2022, uh, a cruise ship that will have an inaugural sailing, uh, an Oasis-class cruise ship, the Wonder of the Seas. In March, her first sailing is uh, going to be from Florida. Uh, at least there's going to be an inaugural sailing from Florida in March, and we're booked on that. So uh, I'm, I will meet that resolution also. I wish I could keep my fitness goals as easy as I can keep these cruising goals, but that was my resolution uh, number four. Cruise resolution number five, I would like to go to a cruise port in Canada. I've had opportunity to do that, and it, it was ripped away uh, through cancellation, through the inability to work out some rules. Uh, this last summer, I went to Alaska, and normally you would stop in Canada going to Alaska, but Canadian cruise ports were closed. Uh, also in 2020, I was scheduled to go to a Canadian cruise port, but everything was shut down. And so uh, I tell you what, I want to go up the east coast of the U.S. to those Canadian ports, get some uh, you know beaver tails and some poutine, and uh, see what it looks like over there. And I'd certainly like to go back and check out a Canadian port when we go to Alaska again in August. So, oh, Canada, uh, I need to see your cruise ports. Show me your cruise ports. Uh, but yeah, the cruise resolution number five, I think that one's going to happen too. Are you sensing a theme here? This is something that we used to do when we had people set their yearly goals uh, for their job. Uh, make sure you do a goal that's uh, time bound and attainable. That's part of the SMART goal system. And uh, I've done pretty well to lay out, I got some stretch goals at the end, but I, I've done pretty well to lay out some pretty attainable cruise goals. My number six cruise resolution is to cruise from the West Coast. And uh, let me qualify that, to cruise from a cruise port in California. I want to cruise from California. I've cruised from Seattle. That counts as the West Coast. But I need to go from uh, Long Beach or Los Angeles or San Francisco or San Diego uh, down south. Down south to the Mexican Riviera, to Cabo, to Mazatlan, to all those places. Or, or if the fates uh, line up, maybe I'll go from California to Hawaii. I've never been there. Uh, but yeah, so cruise resolution uh, number six is to cruise out of California, the West Coast. Number seven. I would like to do a B2B cruise, a back-to-back -back cruise. I can't believe in the time that I've been cruising, I've never done a back-to-back. Back-to-back is very simple. You get on a cruise ship and you cruise one itinerary, and then you stay on the cruise ship and you cruise the next itinerary. Sometimes it's exactly the same itinerary, and sometimes when you get lucky, it's a different itinerary. That's the flavor of back-to-back -back I would like to do. A classic example of that is you get on and maybe you cruise the Western Caribbean one week, and then you cruise the Eastern Caribbean the next week. So uh, yes, definitely on my list of things to try in 2022 is a big old sweet back-to-back -back cruise. How about that? Now, before I finish out my list of cruise resolutions, uh, I would be remiss if I did not take a moment to invite you to subscribe to this whole La Lita Loca experience. You're living it here on YouTube in the La Lita Loca cruising community, the YouTube section, but we're all over the place. We're on all your social medias. There's a home on Facebook. We invite you to all of that, but specifically, I would invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in cruising, cruising, uh, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. Thank you in advance. Something cool to do for 2022. Hit the subscribe button. Number eight, my cruise resolution. And this one may be one of the most elusive. I would like to see a bear in Alaska. Did you track along with my Alaskan adventure? Uh, I had an amazing experience in Alaska where I got to see Orca, where I got to see Killer Well. The experience was killer. Uh, however, you may also remember at the end of that trip, I dropped a lot of coin. I gave away a whole small treasure chest uh, to go to the mouth of a, a bay uh, to a fish hatchery, as it were, and see a bear, and there were no bears to be seen. And then when we got back from that adventure uh, to catch a can, everybody was saying, oh, yeah, you could have just hung out around here because they, they eat out of the garbage can. I didn't see a bear in Alaska. This is on my list for 2022. Uh, take me back and show me a bear up there. Number nine on my list of resolutions is I would like to take at least one or two more of my kids on a cruise. Yes, my heart is softening. I was very protective of cruising as a, an adventure that Jenny and I shared Asan's kids because uh, when we got together, we had little kids. We blended a family and uh, we, we've raised six 
how about that? And uh, once we got the empty nest thing going, we're like, well, how are we going to connect with each other? Uh, and we connected over cruising. Uh, but but honestly, uh, I have softened my position. We've taken two of our daughters on cruises, and the experience was splendid uh, to see my daughters experience cruising for the first time uh, and how magical it was for them. I feel a little selfish uh, keeping it away from the other kids. So we got four more to try to get on cruise ships. Uh, hopefully, we can get one or two more of them on a cruise in 2022. My number 10 cruise resolution is uh, very romantic if you want to track along with that. It is going on a cruise that leaves out of New York City. I love New York City. I've only been there a few times in my life, but it really is a magical place uh, that I would like to spend more time in. So for me, going on a cruise out of New York City would involve going to the city a couple days early, uh, doing some New York City things, going to the museums, uh, going to a Broadway show, and I love stand-up comedy and and there's one or two meccas of comedy there. A lot of a lot of cool comedy places in New York City. But I'd like to go to the Comedy Cellar and see comedy there. And then, how can you beat sailing out of New York, uh, sailing under the Verrazano Bridge, sailing past Lady Liberty herself? Uh, it, it almost seems like it should be a movie that you see on, on the TV. I would like to experience that. I've seen some great footage of people sailing past the Statue of Liberty. But uh, I can imagine uh, that it's a pretty amazing thing. I would love to go experience that that's on my 2022 list uh new york city new york city new york city yes is that on your list do you have a list you should be making a list all right i got one more this is my big stretch resolution my stretch goal i said in a video previously this month or last month that i thought i could try to go on 20 cruises in 2022 that i didn't think before i spoke that seems very aggressive i don't even know if that's doable but let's let's think about what has happened since the cruise restart happened in june of this year i have been on eight cruises and cruises only take about a week and uh, there's a lot of months out there and so i've established a new goal that I think is reasonable for 2022. I believe that I can do 15 cruises in 2022. And it will be interesting that if in these 15 cruises, I can take care of my whole my whole resolution list. So that's something we can track along with. And we'll just leave 20 as a stretch goal. It may be too much as a stretch goal. Let's just say that 15 is the goal, 20 is the stretch, and then anything beyond 20 is like finding two prizes in a small Cracker Jack box, and they're both really cool uh, uh, temporary tattoos. Cruise resolutions, boom, those are mine. Do you have some? What's some, uh, you know, look, again, this is my my job. This is what I do. I don't expect your list to be as extensive, but let's celebrate our list together. Put your top number one or two of your cruise goals in the comments and let's all go like all those comments and celebrate cruising in 2022. Thank you so much for checking out the show today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Babel, for sponsoring the show. Uh, please show your support for La Lita Loca by hitting the like button. This is Tony with La Lita Loca and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.